Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Once again, a very, very warm welcome to each and every one of you who gathered here today for this first Holy Communion Mass. The children have been preparing as best as they can for this special day. I hope you've all watched my videos that I've sent you on YouTube. Um, and I can't promise that Joey will turn up, uh, the young boy who uh, made his first confession, but I know he's thinking of you today. As we gather together, let us rejoice in the presence of God, but also knowing sometimes that we upset the Lord by the things that we do wrong and the things that we say wrong, we, we say sorry to him. Lord, I am sorry for the times when I have turned away from your love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord I am sorry for the times when I have not helped my friends and family. Christ, have mercy. Lord, I am sorry for the times when I have not accepted your care, your love in my life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, you gather us here today as your people to celebrate this first Holy Communion Mass. Your gift to us in the Eucharist is the greatest gift that we can receive. May we always appreciate it and share our love with others. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please sit down now as Beatrice leads us in our first week.
Jack will now lead us in our second week. bread of life, says the Lord. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have life everlasting. Alleluia. Back to this hand. 
That's how much God loves us. Jesus showed that to his disciples when he was in that upper room for that meal. He was saying to his friends, guess how much I love you. And he gave them the bread, and he gave them the wine, and he said, this is my body, which will be given up for you. This is my blood, which will be poured out for you. And ever since that day, whenever we have gathered to celebrate Mass, whenever we have gathered to celebrate First Holy Communions, we are remembering that God loves us that much. That much. So we stand and turn to the Lord with our prayers. We gather here today in the presence of God, knowing that he cares for us and loves us. We now turn to him with all our prayers. We pray for the church, help it listen to God's word and to act it out in its daily life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, help all people to live together in peace and to work for an end to all forms of war and hatred. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. May it learn to share more equally the good things that God has given us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the children who will be receiving their first Holy Communion today, that they may know how much God loves them in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for children everywhere, especially those who live in poor countries. May the world share its riches. Lord, in your mercy, we now ask Mary, our mother, to help us with our prayers as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And let us pray for a moment in the silence of our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for loving us and for listening to our prayers today. Let us never forget that you are with us and that you want us to be closer to you. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please sit down as the altar is prepared for our celebration, continued celebration of us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given into the hands of men. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God of all. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. God our Father, accept these gifts that we offer on this altar today, these gifts of bread and wine. Make them acceptable so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. God our loving Father, we are glad to give you thanks and praise because you love us. Because you love us, you sent your Son Jesus to bring us to you and to gather us around him as the children of one family. For such great love, we now thank you with all the angels and saints as they praise you and sing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Blessed be Jesus, who you sent to be a friend of all people, especially the poor, the lonely, and the sick. Jesus came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends, and hate, which makes the world an unhappy place. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always, so that we can live as your children. God our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus our Lord. On the night before he died, he had supper for one last time with his disciples. And when they were at supper, he took bread, he gave you thanks and praise, and then he broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. It was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And so, loving Father, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save our world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice that we offer you. Lord our God, listen to our prayers. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who are gathered here today. May this spirit bring us closer together with the family of the Church, with Francis our Pope, Declan our Bishop, and all who serve your people. God our Father, 
Remember our families and friends, and all those we do not love as we should. We remember those who have died. Bring them home to you to be with you forever. We gather us all together into your kingdom. There we shall be happy forever, with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, and our Mother. And there are the friends of Jesus the Lord, who sing to you a song of joy. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. We stand and pray together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples and so teaches us as we say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let's turn to our parents and, and offer them a sign of peace, and for others, a wave of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So, as I mentioned in a few moments, I will call each child up individually to receive Holy Communion for the very first time. And as I mentioned, if a member of family wishes to take a photograph at that moment, you're very welcome to do so. After the children have received, myself and Sarah will come around to the rest of you to administer Holy Communion. If you do not receive Communion, or cannot for any reason, you're very welcome to receive a blessing. Just let myself or Sarah know to receive a blessing and we will give you one.
John, who must we go to meet at the very first time? See you coming to me at the very first time.
now that we have received God's greatest gift, we at this time remember those who are still unable to come to Mass because of the pandemic, and we pray with them an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into their hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, we have listened to your holy word. We have received the gift of the Eucharist into our bodies, hearts and minds. As we leave this place, may we share with the world your love. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Just like to congratulate all the children who made their first Holy Communion today. And the next time you come to Mass, you can receive communion again. So for some of you that might be tomorrow, for some of you it might be next week. But you can receive Holy Communion now whenever you attend Mass, wherever in the world, in the Catholic world, where you will celebrate Mass. Is that great? Just think of that. Anywhere that you go to Mass, you'll be able to receive Holy Communion. And just to, just to make sure, if, you, uh, if, if somebody says, have you made your first Holy Communion? You can say, yeah, I've got a certificate. <laughs> so, Emmanuel, do you want to come out here and collect your certificates? Just a Henry and Charles, let's come forward. stay behind for a few moments in church to take some family photographs if you wish but the weather's so nice out there you may wish to take them down by the statue of our lady um, it's up to you but also to say as you leave church today um, in the porch there are some lovely stained glass um, um, gifts if you wish to purchase them and also some things from our piety store if you haven't done so already uh, as a gift and present uh, to the children today um, We'll have our final blessing, and you may go. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, most of you will know this final song as well, and if you know the actions, you may want to do them. Amen.